Feuer! Feuer! Welcome back to the front, my friends. It's been a long time coming. And in this mission, what we need to do is try and stop the attack from Vodvievnonie. Right now, what we have here are actually some supply vehicles. We also have additional forces um, coming in here, reinforcements essentially. And we've got some additional supply vehicles back here. Now, one cool thing about this particular setup is we are in the forest. So for once, we can actually use the forest against Ivan. And I think the best way to do that, you guys see this elevation going up here. We've got quite a few machine gun positions, and I am going to set them up all over here. Or at least most of them I'm going to set up in the woods here. Uh, nice and hidden. So let's do this. Let's put this one kind of looking out that way. We're just going to create, sort of like we do in our Ultimate General Civil War videos, a bit of a hornet's nest. That's the goal here. Um, now, I want to have these guys close to each other. I'm also going to potentially bring up some armor once it arrives to this exact location, but we don't know how long it's going to take to arrive. We don't know specifically how long it's going to take to drive over here. That's what I'm really worried about. In fact, I'll just take these guys... Boom, do this. I'm going to grab that machine gun, put it over here in this gap. I'm just hoping that I've got my MG set up in the right areas, honestly. Uh, just to make sure, I'm going to bring these infantry units, and we're going to have some infantry support. So, in case the enemy tries to overrun us, etc., we'll have a few infantry units here ready to repel borders. I think it looks pretty nice. I don't know how you guys feel. We can grab the rest of the guys and just kind of keep them behind... I don't want to get them all the way up to the front, especially not Vole and Kumar. Let me put them back here, grab that MG, put it here, and let's just see how this plan actually works. It could be a total disaster, honestly, I'm, I'm just not sure. But I like to think that, look at that, we even have guns on the front, we've got machine guns. We're just waiting for the actual Soviets to attack, and we will be ready to return fire. So let's go ahead. We're getting started with deployment. We're okaying deployment. And hopefully those reinforcements have arrived. They have indeed. So now we need to decide what to do with them. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Bullet. We appreciate that that loud bark. Uh, that's always good for the video. Um, we're going to do that. And actually, I'm going to order them to fast move to this forested area. There's, of course, that path or that road going up just in case they attack over here. If not, we can take these guys, get around the enemy, and actually flank them. Let's get to it, boys. Okay, they're hitting us for sure with artillery. Um, I think it's those AT guns they've got out here. They've got some anti-tank weapons all the way out here. We can actually see a few of them, and they're moving them up to the front. So the Bolsheviks are definitely trying to get those up to the front to use them against our line here, uh, our makeshift hornet's nest. Now, we've had some traffic jam issues with the SDK of Zs, as you can see. So instead of fast moving them, I've switched that to attack uh, so that they get off the roads, essentially. Right now, they're trying to use the roads. That's not working. But as you can see, we've now got them moving the right way towards the front. And look at those additional Wehrmacht units ready to fight the foe. That's what we're looking for. Let's take a look over here at the guys that have already made it to this side. They've already got their machine gun set up. I don't want them to change a thing. The only thing I do want, I'm going to probably send this SDKFZ, more than one actually, uh, to try and attack the enemy over here. So try and hit their flanks, uh, cause some confusion, cause some panic, etc. And I'll do the same with this SDKFZ. We're gonna, just going to go ahead and advance. And even with Ulfgaard... Another SDKFC we have here, we are going to advance. Um, really try to put the herd on the enemy. If we can attack their guns from a flank, we might be able to completely wipe them out. So far, though, our, our line is held. Um, I haven't seen any troops get more than, I'd say, 100 meters away. But they are testing this front with constant bombardments. <clears throat> oh, yeah.
All right, tremendous rounds going out from our side. I mean, we're definitely hitting that area, without a doubt. Just the question is, are we hitting it where we need to hit it? And here we go, Siegfried getting up to the close... The close? The front line, guys. So let's see if he actually gets into any contact or if he stopped here immediately. I'd love to get some actual fire going from Siegfried over here and from the rest of these SDKFC drivers. In fact, I'm going to push it even farther. That's right, I'm pushing them even farther towards the front line. Come on. Don't be afraid. It's going to take some time for these orders to actually go through. In the meantime, though, I think we'll actually grab all of these units. I want to make sure I'm not grabbing any additional units back here. We're just taking our frontline troops. That's fine. And again, ordering them right out over there where the enemy has been spotted, where their guns have been spotted, etc. So we're actually doing a sort of pincer attack. We're holding this line and we're attacking on the left over here. Uh, holding them at the front and trying to do a flank on the left. May or may not work out. Let's check on our front line. <clears throat> all right, everybody's staying down at least. A lot of shrapnel flying all over the damn place. Let's get over here. That gun is absolutely keeping us alive. I mean, I have no other way to put it. They are keeping us alive right now. If anybody can identify that gun, let us know in the comments down below. Um, but you might be able to find out what gun it is if you look close enough at the descriptions when I when I double click it. Fire away, fire away. Now, not all of our units have been as successful. As you can see, that machine gun got completely obliterated by enemy artillery rounds. So we just have to keep our wits about us. That's simple, boys. And sure enough, look at this. Siegfried getting to the front. He's having some trouble getting right to the front, but I definitely see some infantry out in the open there, which is why we need him aiming in the right direction. And there we go. The rest of our support also arriving. Machine gun units, etc. This is what we need. What we don't need is advancing over open territory like this. Not the greatest uh, situation. Alright, it looks like our mortar might also be firing. I didn't even realize that possibility, but they've got a perfect spot on the Soviets here. So they're calling in rounds directly on that position. Look at that, some more mortar rounds. Some smaller than others, but you know, it's not the size of the mortar that counts. It's the way you use it, right? Isn't that, isn't that what they say? I think so. I think so. Now look at this. Um, these are just our supply vehicles. They're not going to provide any sort of defensive uh, bonus. But we don't want the enemy breaking through to get to them. So let's just make sure we have some units here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they're throwing everything at us at this point. They are throwing everything at us. Now we've got this infantry squad. Or really an infantry group here. Um, from the back. What we could do is we could advance with the rest of these guys. They're getting pretty damn close to the front, and we could just make this an all-out uh, advance, or we could just set up in a defensive location nearby. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to push the line forward, and I'm going to have these guys push forward and defend. Let's see how they deal with these orders. Take them a while to actually get them, but it looks like they are following them already. To the front, boys. Starting to see a commissar over there as well, so that could be a major Soviet assault. Get into position, men. Oh, man. Okay, here we go. Look at this. Look at what Kempf can see. This is what I was trying to do. This is exactly what I was trying to do. The question is, Kempf, can Kempf figure it out? Can he start firing immediately? Come on. There we go. That's what I like to see. Beautiful. All right, guys. We've got to get closer with some more SDKFZs. But the wolf pack is hunting now for sure. In fact, we could even stop here and fire. He's already firing Siegfried. So we'll just keep him right there, guys. Now, ideally, I'd like to get that gun. He's firing over there to the west, too. We must see something. It looks like just a lone infantryman out here. Right, let's see if we can get the gun.
absolutely beautiful. This is what we want, guys. This is what we've been looking for. Got some more units of the Wolf Pack advancing, of course. Uh, some more offensive units. Right now, we only have these two SDKFCs at the front. But with those guns they've got, they're doing a great job. Just blasting away at the Soviet units here. And have them target that gun. I just love it. Uh, what I want to do is push on even deeper into the enemy territory here. Maybe even take the Shubin West area from them. I mean, why not? We're holding the front so far. Uh, we've got Limburger and all of these infantry units uh, coming up to reinforce the front. Let's take a look at that situation. Alright, looks like Ulfgaard has made it all the way out here. I'm just going to have him stay put. Uh, he can serve as a defender there. You can hear the screaming of our men as those rounds go off near them, but there's nothing we can do except to keep our heads down. Look at that. Our, our SDKFCs are doing an incredible job. We've got some more units over here, and I want Siegfried to go for them. But actually, what I'd rather do is actually get a SDKFC with a machine gun to rush through that area. Let's see how this advance is going. We need more. We need more. Forward. We don't usually do this much micromanaging in a Graviton Tactics battle, but in this particular one, I mean, I saw the, the right opportunity and went for it almost immediately. Well, we've got some reinforcements arriving, guys. Look at all of these infantry um, on the run, or on the push, I should say, from back here. Finally, they're going to be getting to where the Russians are. This would be the perfect attack, the perfect counterattack, hopefully, to stop them from pushing our lines. And I think it would pretty much save us. Can't say for sure, but I got a pretty good idea about it. And again, the front has still held. Although this battle, unlike a lot of our battles, is really not so much about the front as it is about the advancing units over here. As you can see, some of our MGs, uh, some of our MG um, and mortar SDKFCs have started to reach the edge here of Shubin. But I want to take Shubin. That's where the infantry comes in. We're going to try to take that area. Look at that, man. Our infantry are actually locked in combat here. There are so many of them in this area that have made it through. We can see a few of their corpses on the ground. But we've got to worry about the rest of them. And most of them are actually terrified. You can see he's keeping his head down. This is why we need the infantry to arrive immediately. And they are almost here. The first sort of units, uh, the point men, are making it to the front lines. And sure enough, or soon enough, we'll be engaged in some pretty serious combat. Very good. And Siegfried has just been a master in this battle. I don't know if you saw him... Uh, with our teaser, and if you like those teasers, let me know in the comments down below. <clears throat> but he has just been firing away here, um, almost like, almost like we have an anti-tank gun just stationary here. But of course, he is an AT gun loaded on top of an SDKFC. In fact, in fact, it might just be anti-personnel. Uh, if you guys can tell me, please do let me know. Come on, men! Attack! There are men on this vehicle, and look at that. We have taken some Soviet prisoners. That happened fun That happened interestingly enough. He saw our SDKFC and he's like, no way. Do not want to deal with that. Foya. Most of our infantry have already abandoned the vehicles, as you would imagine. Um, this guy, we're just going to stay right here with his machine gun. Although, of course, since the enemy's uphill, that might be a little tough to get a kill. Let's just go right into these these guys. Man, now they're targeting Siegfried. Or it's Siegfried, actually. Excuse me, it's Siegfried. Uh, with some serious mortars. At least they're not hitting our infantry. Although, look at that. That definitely hurt the guys inside the vehicle. 
Let's get a look. My goodness, man. They may have taken out our gunners. I'm pretty sure those guys are dead. Oh, yes. I don't know if you guys saw that explosion. The shrapnel going right into the vehicle. That is unfortunate for Siegfried's crew. We've got to get these guys back on the mend. They have done an amazing job so far. All right, there we go. Another SDKFC doing his job. Another wolf amongst the sheep. I love it. And he's actually targeting that gun. That's exactly what we've been trying to kill. Um, looks like we killed two of the guys, but most of them are just taking cover. Let's just keep them under consistent fire. Beautiful. <clears throat> Covered in blood, man. I can't see a much cooler visual than that one. But he is absolutely drenched in blood as, he did, as he's advancing towards the enemy. Him and the driver are the only guys in this vehicle. They are getting work done. See there, the uphill is becoming a little bit of a problem. Right now, we've got the enemy on the ground. This is why we need that infantry to move in so badly. They're getting there, but I think they see those explosions. And as you can see, they are taking necessary caution. Now, what we're trying to notice here, which is... Or we're starting to notice here, which is pretty amazing, guys. And I must say, this SDKFC, another beastie SDKFC unit taking the fight to the enemy. But we are actually spotting enemy trenches around this town, which is going to make our attack a lot more difficult. Um, here we go. Look at this guy. Look at the wolf pack at work. Oh, man. We've even got fire started around the damn thing. I think we've lit some ammunition boxes on fire. This is pretty amazing. And that's got to be the end for that gun. There we go. Good shooting. So we hit another one of them out there. This is where we need our SDKFCs, guys. Right up on the front lines. And, of course, getting rid of any of the enemy AT guns. The question is, do we want to keep pushing this now that we know they have trenches? Or do we want to try and wait for, um, you know, an acceptable... Um, you know, peace term, essentially. I think we're probably going to have to wait for peace here unless the rest of the wolf pack can push through. We will let this attack go on um, as we had it before, pretty much. And I'll still try to break uh, their trenches. It looks like we've already come across a few of them here. And they're not faring too well at all. Might as well send this SDKFC out there. I'm seeing some commanders. Um, and it looks like a lot of our infantry have already started targeting that area. Two actual commissars out there. So this would be a great shot if we can get it. Oh boy, oh boy. Let's get a look over here. So it looks like... Yeah, I'm definitely seeing um, some units here. We've got um, the infantry we pushed up to hold is um, is in front of our machine guns. Our machine guns are, are back in this area. I'm going for a push. Let's, let's be aggressive, at least in the woods. Forward, men! <clears throat> those grenades are, or I should say those mortars are landing far behind the men, so I think they can push forward and maybe even... Uh, Maybe enforce the enemy infantry back. I can see quite a few enemy infantry over here. And there's definitely more. Look at that. Look at that. Still some guys coming out of the trenches. They actually managed to kill our poor gunner. Um, it's all up to the driver now to at least scare the hell out of the enemy. But look at that. The rest of the wolf pack here. And they are attacking in force as quickly as they can, of course. As just now noticed, guys, but we have Shubin uh, now under our control. So I wasn't sure if we were going to be able to take that um, settlement, but we absolutely did. That is exciting. I'll even try to get some units into it um, as quickly as I can. And we still do have a few SDKFCs here kind of, kind of having some trouble moving through the woods. Uh, that's okay. We're going to start pushing up. 
our main attack is going to be on this on this end anyway. So I think they'll end up sending those units back to defend the area, if I'm not mistaken. This machine gunner can move forward as well. All right, we've got those commissars under fire. And it looks like, oh my goodness, no, it's an entirely new trench uh, works. They've got some trench works back here. Look at how well they have this town covered. So the trenches extend from over here in the woods all the way around here uh, and all the way in the front. So they are ready for a defensive uh, battle for sure. That's good enough. That's good enough. Stop right. No, not yet. No, yet. Keep going. Keep going. Got to get it absolutely perfectly. They've already killed one of our SDKFCs out there. Right there is good. <laughs> the infantry push is going, I guess, as well as you'd expect it to. Uh, we're not really seeing too many Soviets. They're all the way back here, and they're going to be, of course, in their trenches. There we go. Spotted one of the trenches, and good shooting, boys. Man, that happened quickly. So we've even got their trench under very heavy fire. want to make sure our boys are completely focused on that thing. It might not be a, an extremely important objective, but in this situation it is, because they can just keep slinging machine gun rounds our way. And that ain't going to make things easy. Look at that. Even the officer firing with his Luga, it's amazing. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Yeah, just attacks from everywhere, and it looks like they're even, uh, a lot of them standing up here from the trenches in the city. I think they've realized the severity of the situation here. Yeah, that trench work is a mess. Yep, they're abandoning the trench. Definitely abandoning the trench with this unit, guys. We're just going to target them as they leave to try to retreat back to town. And let's see what's what's happening here. We've got plenty of infantry over here now. Plenty of SDKFCs. Yeah, I say we just go for an all-out push. We've already taken that part of the town. Let's attack their main defenses. Full attack. We do have a few dead over here. Definitely took some hits here on the western side. Um, some of these are, of course, Soviet dead. No, these are all Germans. Man, we've taken some very heavy hits then in that case from over there. Not sure what they've got. We've got an SCKFC kind of keeping watch. And I do see some commissars, etc. It's probably just a gunfire coming straight from the trench, honestly. I'm amazed they haven't asked for a ceasefire, but that's what leads me to believe they have a lot more uh, than they're leading on and that we're actually seeing. Okay, stop right there. Stop right there. That's perfect. That's perfect. Got a direct shot on the trench. Although, of course, he's going to try and turn around in some ridiculous way. Let's get a look at that trench. Yes, already a few dead outside, but they've got men in here. Of course, some wounded. Look at that guy treating and bandaging his wounds. starting to see a lot of the enemy infantry groups. They are all over the place here. And of course, killing those officers is our top priority. KFC's advancing, guys, getting to that trench, of course. 
One of them is doing okay, although I don't like that they're they're getting way too close to one another, causing some traffic problems. We had this situation earlier. So I'm just going to order them each to attack separate positions. Look at that. Even our infantry is moving into the front like nothing's going on. They seem pretty secure as they approach this trench work. Some mortar fire going on while this is happening. No, is that mortar fire? Yeah, it is. Wow. Nice. <clears throat> All right, another SDKFC approaching, but right now we've got to focus on this one. Make sure he's actually aimed the right way. And I just want him pointing right at them. Look at that. He's going to keep firing at this trench. That's fine. I don't care what trench he's shooting at. I just don't want them able to fire through the side armor. I want to make it as difficult as possible for them to hit this guy. Aim forward. And that's for you. You attack. All right. We, beautiful. We've got our infantry firing from the woods, guys. This is what we wanted, of course. Commissar there with an Ushanka. But it looks like most of the Commissars look at this. A bunch of officers here in the back holding on for dear life. We've got to kill those officers. We have to. Who knows? Those could be colonels. I mean, why would they be right in the back there? That's amazing. We've also got an open shot uh, over here at the enemy gun. So we are just going to make sure this SDKFC gives them hell. Unfortunately, oh, of course the gunner took a hit. Almost an immediate hit there. I guess it was too much to be true. Too good to be true, I should say. And a few other gunners and drivers killed over here, so we got to be careful with these SDKSCs. The wolf pack hasn't been killed, but they have been maimed pretty badly. Look at that. Now even our machine guns over here are targeting that enemy gun. That's what we need. Um, just consist consistent targeting of this position right here where the officers are, where the guns are, where even the communications are. Well, not anymore, sorry. Not anymore. The communications have been wiped out. Um, but we've got a lot of enemy positions still here in the center of town. But look at that. Our guys are standing in the damn trench at this point. We are in their trenches. We've made it. We've broken through. But we've got to finish the job. And that's going to be mopping up the rest of the enemy here. Definitely target those damn officers. Come on. Five officers just in that cluster. No wonder they're not accepting um, a surrender yet. We're not accepting a ceasefire. They don't want us killing their poor commanders here. Come on. Fire at the commanders. Forget the gun. Look at that. He's got the Toka Rev out. Man, the guy's got, got cojones. I'll tell you that. Good shot. Good shot, boys. I knew it would happen eventually. 
There's no way he's getting up, just raked across the chest with MG42 rounds. And did we get some more prisoners? I think we just took some more prisoners over here, folks. We've already taken quite a few. Reloads quickly. Really, really quickly. Looks like our guys are just lighting up the building. There must be some more units back here. They're spotting them. Look at that. It's a mortar. Amazing, man. Just amazing. The wolf pack has definitely served its purpose. That much I could say. But we've got more officers here. Just this is Officer City. This this must be a command center uh, for the the Soviet Army, period. One of the main command centers. They're just everywhere here. Although we have to realize that these are mostly uh, non-commissioned officers. Uh, I think like lieutenant and below, these would not be, you know, maybe captains, but not colonels or generals or anything like that as far as I know in this fight. Could be wrong. I think maybe colonels. Look at that. It's all up to the SDKFCs now. Let's see where, uh, where the infantry are. So there's still Limburger, a few of these infantry back here. They took quite a beating on the first advance. Um, I am going to order them to just go ahead and push forward fully, but again, they're not going to move up as quickly as our SDKFCs, number one in terms of speed, number two in terms of morale. They have just been beat up, uh, a lot of these guys holding the front, especially the machine gunners, man. They deserve a lot of our respect. The unsung heroes of the battle. Careful, boys. We're right on their front at this point. Right there. Got to be extra careful here. Look at that. Look at that officer over here. Amazing. He's doing anything he can to take cover. Just going to look here at the casualties, guys. It's one of the Soviet guns. calling in massive artillery, which must, must be all the way over here at the church area. Now, trying to push to take the church would be too much to ask. Got the gun totally trained on the SDKFC. Probably a good idea. Oh my goodness, look at that! Soviet inside the building was just killed by one of our men, just bayoneted. But we actually saw him firing from the windows there. That was amazing, man. That's how quickly they get you. He actually killed one of our troops. But we could see the dead Soviet inside as well as one of our men. Uh, looks like there's still a Soviet machine gunner in that building. Oh! Somebody just threw a grenade. Are we okay? Everybody's okay. Everybody's okay, but the is stuck. Man, that's crazy. That's crazy. Keep going, keep going. I can't believe we've actually got a gun all the way out here, but okay, I'll take it. And yeah, definitely still, um, these Soviet trenches seem to be okay. Of course, there's not as many men in these trenches, uh, but they seem to be in much better shape than, than the units around the rest of the battle. I wonder if that's why they're not yet, um, giving us that victory. This has been a long fight. I mean, usually... We don't have a fight this long. And look at that. We still have some infantry back here. We could make use of them or keep them out of the battle. I think these guys retreated from the front. I'm almost certain of that. But what I'm going to do is just fast move them. Try and get them up to the, where the fighting is. And as for our machine gunners, yeah, I think we can be pretty aggressive with them now. Let's go for it. Stayed put enough, boys. Push forward. Love how the enemy officer is just right near our SDKFZ here. We don't have any infantry um, in close proximity to shoot him. Most of our infantry that have reached the any area are over here. So I'm not sure. He might be safe for a little while longer. 
SDKFC rounds just going right over the top of the guy. The gun, is it still operational? I think it is, but it's in a pretty bad position. It can barely see our tanks, or our SDKFCs in this case. More prisoners? Yep. Look at that, guys. Slowly but surely, we're clearing this town out. And there we go, the ceasefire. The enemy is now asking for the ceasefire. I'm definitely going to accept it. If I felt that we would have enough strength to push through Temdovka, I would go for it. But I think this is a great opportunity. Um, we've killed a bunch of their officers. We've stopped their attack completely. You know, we were... This was initially a defensive battle. We just turned it into an offensive one. So... I think that's a pretty fair, um, you know, trade, I must say. We'll let them get away now. We'll keep the existing locations we took. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this fascinating and long, long battle. Uh, so make sure to hit that like button, guys. Comment down below. And, of course, subscribe if you haven't already. It looks like just all in all a draw. You can see the casualties down down here, 130 on our side, 142 on the enemy side. Um, we also took quite a few prisoners, 18 prisoners, which is, in this game, a lot of them. And, of course, the capture of additional territory, essentially 50% more of the map. I'll take it. I think it's acceptable. Let me know what you guys think. Would you have kept fighting, or do you think this was a good place to stop? And what do you think about the battle overall? Please do let us know in the comments down below, and I'll see you in the next video.